according to the autobiography of Malcolm X and Spike Lee's movie. Malcolm did not have any politics when he was in prison in the late 1940s. That's wrong. Malcolm was schooled in the Garvey movement by his parents, who were Garvey organizers in Omaha, Nebraska, where Malcolm was born in 1925. Now, Marcus Garvey was from Jamaica. He founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities Leagues, the UNIA. The UNIA in the 1920s was the largest mass black organization in the entire world. Garvey had 700 chapters throughout the United States, and in these branch organizations, black people were taught to be proud of themselves, their race, to know something of their own history, to build black institutions that provided goods and services to other blacks. Malcolm grew up with newspapers and magazines from the West Indies because his mother was from Grenada. She was fluent in French and taught the children French. This idea that the autobiography gives that Malcolm was illiterate when he went to prison, that he had to learn words from the dictionary, that's an effective narrative, but that's not true. Malcolm's parents were indeed highly literate, that they were very involved in politics, and that from the testimony of those who knew Malcolm when he worked at Jimmy's Chicken Shack in Harlem in the 1940s is that Malcolm talked about black nationalism and black politics all the time. So Malcolm already had a sense of black politics and black nationalism years before he went to prison and years before he encountered the Nation of Islam. <laughs> 